Imagine a gardener who dreams of cultivating a beautiful rose garden filled with vibrant flowers and sweet fragrances. He spends countless hours nurturing his roses, focusing on every detail, hoping to achieve perfection. He frets about the weather, pests, and whether his roses will bloom, becoming anxious over minor changes. In his quest for perfection, he forgets to enjoy the present moment, missing the beauty of the gardening process. His happiness hinges on the perfect bloom, replacing joy with stress and frustration. The lesson is simple. Sometimes, the best way to achieve something is to let go. By stepping back, he allows the roses to grow naturally. This is the essence of the backward law. By letting go, we often find that what we desire comes to us more effortlessly. Start manifesting miracles daily and watch your dreams bloom effortlessly. The backward law, popularized by philosopher Alan Watts, states that the more we strive for success, the more it eludes us. Our intense desire can push our goals further away, creating frustration and stress. It's like chasing butterflies. The harder you chase, the further they fly. Desperate pursuit makes the target more elusive and unattainable. But when you stand still, they often land gently on your shoulder. Being present and patient allows opportunities to come naturally. Watts, inspired by Taoism, saw life as a dynamic flow. He believed rigid control is an illusion and that true happiness comes from letting go. Embrace the flow, let go of control, and surrender to the present moment. This brings harmony, balance, and inner peace. Detachment doesn't mean indifference or apathy. It's a common misconception that detachment equates to not caring. It's not about suppressing our desires or resigning ourselves to a life devoid of passion. It encourages us to pursue our dreams with enthusiasm. It's about shifting our focus to the present moment, finding joy in the journey rather than the destination. Think of a child building a sandcastle. The child is not concerned with the final product. The child is fully immersed in the process, finding joy in each moment. The child doesn't worry about the tide washing it away. They find joy in the present moment. That's detachment. Finding joy in the process, not just the outcome. It's about being present and fully engaged. By letting go of our need to control, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and experiences. Embrace the freedom of letting go and discover the beauty of the present moment. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on living a fulfilled life. Don't forget to like, share and comment below with your thoughts.